So, before we get into horizontal curves and what they are, we need to talk just quickly about um, stationing and what stationing is. Um, so, let's just let's just explain using a, using an example. Let's let's pretend there's a street, okay? And we're a bird again. We're looking down onto the street and this street um, I'm going to call Sigma Street. If there is such a street, that would be amazing. So we're a bird, we're looking down on this road, and this street is called Sigma Street. And, um, you know, we have our, our center line here. Okay? Um, just a quick side lesson. Uh, the side lines are usually denoted with the symbol SL with the L right through the S so the side lines are SL and the center lines would be CL C standing for center okay now stations or stationing um, is just a way to measure out um, certain intervals um, in our case we usually measure out stations in one hundreds of feet okay and the way we write stations um, are are with a plus sign, okay? So let's say, say on this street, we had three stations. One, two, three, okay? And this was station, this, this station was 20 plus zero, zero. This was 21 plus zero, zero. This was 22 plus zero, zero, okay? That's stationing. Each of these tick marks represents a 100 foot or 100 foot um, interval of a station. One station, one full station is measured out using every 100 feet, okay, in the United States. So from station 20 plus 00, zero to 21 plus 00, zero, there's. Um, the distance is 100 feet. From 21 plus 00, zero to 22 plus 00, zero, the distance is 100 feet. And from 20 plus 00, zero to 22 plus 00, zero, the distance is 200 feet. Okay? So those are full stations. Half stations. You can probably guess. Half stations are measured out every 50, or half of the full station interval. So between 20 plus 00, zero and 21 plus 00, zero, we can put a half station right at the middle, and we can call it 20 plus 50. Okay? Because from 20 plus 00, zero to 20 plus 50, there's 50 feet. Okay? And from 20 plus 50 to 21 plus 100, plus 00, zero, it's 50. Between stations 21 plus 00, zero and 22, there's a half station of 21 plus 50. Okay? Really, the plus sign, all the plus sign means, well, actually, I'm actually not even sure what it means. It's been used since people have first started surveying. It's some notation that just stuck around. Um, really, this is just another way of saying 2100 or 2100. 2200 or 2200 they stick a, a plus sign for the hundreds place um, not really sure why it's just something that's stuck around forever everyone's adopted it and uh, that's just how we write it okay so let's do a, a really quick example using stationing let's say this was our center line okay center line and we had stations 20 plus 00, zero. we had station 21 plus 00, zero. we had station 22 plus 00, zero. and we had station 23 plus 00, zero. okay? Let's say we measured out, let me do this in a different color, let's do this in red. Let's say somewhere here, oh no, it's not writing. Somewhere here we had station, we measured out, and it was station 20... Uh, plus 
okay? And somewhere over here, we measured out this station to be 22 plus 58.09, okay? To find the distance from this station to this red station, all we do is take the higher station, subtract the lower station from it, and we get our distance. And remember, 22 plus 58.09 is just another way of writing 2258.09, okay? Minus this station, which is 2057.13. We subtract those two numbers and we get 200.96 feet, okay? That's the distance from this station to this station, okay? That was a really quick introduction to stationing. Uh, we'll be using a lot more stationing in um, our horizontal curves and vertical curves discussion.